Assalamu alaikum, peace be to you. My name is Yusha Evans, uh, formerly Joshua Evans. I uh, was a former Christian, Christian youth minister, born and raised in Greenville, South Carolina, raised in a very traditional Christian household. I accepted Islam in 1998 and, uh, and now I work as full-time uh, project director for YSLAM, trying to teach other people and bring other people to the religion of Islam through education. I um, I left Christianity in ni late 96, early 97, after my own personal study of the Bible with an unbiased mind <clears throat> and seeing the contradictions not only in the texts but in the messages of the Bible in the different places, the Old Testament versus the New Testament, Jesus' teachings versus Paul's teachings, all of these things compiled together with some of the teachings of Paul realizing that they were not in the te teachings of Jesus they came from things like Roman paganism, pagan worship and different things of this nature. These proofs to me uh, told me that Christianity could not be the form of religion that God had sent down for mankind. That there must be something wrong with this message. And then also with looking at the prophets in the Old Testament that Noah was being called a drunkard and, and uh, David slept with Bashiach, killed Uriah to cover up the thing. You know, all of these things said to me that, you know, this could not be the example that was given to me of how to live my life. This could not be a man of God that God chose for me to live my life when he was worse than the common people around him. So I knew something was wrong with this message and I understood that the Bible was not the correct source to get the information about the true religion of God. So after that I decided to leave Christianity, take a step back and analytically uh, look at what is going on and try to find the right religion of God. I am asked, uh, is Jesus God? Can Jesus be God? And the answer is no, for a couple of reasons. Logically, Jesus cannot be God because God is the creator of the heavens and the earth. God is the creator of everything that exists, therefore he cannot exist inside this which he created. He created time, therefore he cannot be subject to time. He created all of the elements that bring about our existence, therefore he cannot be controlled by them. And Jesus himself never ever attests to himself being God. Every time he was praised in any way in the Bible, he would always direct the people's attention from him to God. And he would refer to God many times as being God in the heavens, the Father which is in heaven. You know, and he was even asked once, um, Say, so Master, uh, good Master, how do I enter the kingdom of heaven? He asked him, why do you call me good? Because there is none good but one, and, and that is God. So, basically, Jesus cannot be God. No man can be God. God cannot be a man in any form. I've been asked, can God be a trinity? Can God be a triune God? Can God be three gods and one God? They're all the same God, but yet have separate and, 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 uh, and correlating identities. This cannot exist for quite a few reasons. A very logical reason is that you cannot take three and make one. You cannot say one plus one plus one is one. One plus one plus one makes three. This would not fit in any logical person's mind. And also the Quran very beautifully explains away this, this um, idea, ideal. It says that if there had been more than one God, truly you would have found confusion in the heavens and in the earth. One would have overpowered the other. You cannot have three gods. You cannot have three people working in the same system, doing the same thing and end up with such a perfect harmony that you have in the world around us. This can only come from one single uh, source to have such perfect harmony. In order for that harmony to exist, it must come from someone who is harmonious in his existence, meaning that he is one in every aspect of the world. I've been asked is, can Jesus, is he the Son of God, or can he be the only begotten Son of God? And this one is answered very, very easily, to be honest with you. Uh, number one, that verse in the Bible where Jesus is referred to as the only begotten Son of God, there's only one verse, and Bible scholars themselves will even tell you that this verse did not exist in the original text of the Bible. It was added in when the, the Bible was compiled by the Roman Church. But, to answer more logically, if Jesus is the Son of God, and the argument for Him being the Son of God is that He was born of the Virgin Mary. He was born without a father. This is a very miracle indeed. Now, if this was the criteria for saying that someone should be the Son of God, that they were born without a father, then what about Adam? If anyone has the right, or had the right to be the only begotten Son of God, it should be the one that God created with His own hands. Adam with no mother or father, and then Eve 
whom he created from that person. So this, this is not a miracle that it is just for Jesus alone. This is something that God says when he wills something to be, he only says be and it is. So Jesus cannot be the son of God as the God, as even in the Bible says many times. He refers to Jeremiah as the son of God. He refers to the Israelites as the chosen sons of God. He says in, in, in Hebrews that those who follow God have the right to be called the sons of God. So this was just a term used as a semblance of reverence for Jesus.